I was searching online to find a recipe for potatoes and that's when I ran across this recipe for fondant potatoes from Chef John's page. So what I want to do today is try this on camera for the first time. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Welcome to The Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant style meals, comfort foods and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. Did you know that hands-free while driving in the car really means hands-free? You're not even supposed to be eating a burger or an ice cream cone or drinking one of those coffee drinks or smoking a cigarette while driving. Your hands are supposed to be free and at 10 and 2 on the steering wheel. So imagine if the police saw you with your phone in your hand. You can't even have it on speaker doing this, all right? I got pulled over one time for that. At the time, they weren't really strict with it, so it didn't go on my record, but it was a painful ticket because it was $250 for that ticket, and I was on speaker phone, all right? So you're gonna need a car mount. This is one of our newest sponsors to the show, Van Mass, and they have this beautiful car mount right here that you could put it in a vent or on the dashboard and keep your phone securely so that you can use your navigation and answer your phone calls hands-free. So check the link in the description if you're gonna purchase because you're gonna get a huge discount if you use my link. Why? Because this is a brand new sponsor to the show, all right? Now let's get back into the video. All right, so according to Chef John, you have to use russet potatoes. So I have some potatoes right here, some big ones some smaller ones I've washed them and I've pat them dry and now what I'm gonna do is cut off the ends and then I'm gonna use a knife to just cut the skin off so he says you can peel it but it's better to just cut it and give it like a structure right so then now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in some cold water for five minutes meanwhile I'm gonna go ahead and light the oven and I can already tell you guys that I should have lit the oven a long time ago because it took a while to come up to 425. So go ahead and light your oven before you even start the stuff with the potato, all right? So after five minutes, pat the potatoes dry again. You don't want any of that water on it. All right, so then put a little bit of oil in the skillet and then make sure it comes to temperature, make sure it's hot. And then what we're gonna do is set the potatoes in here. And I set them clockwise because then I will know which one to turn. So it takes a while for the bottoms to brown. I'm gonna check after a minute. See, these are not quite brown enough. And we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some salt on the top while this side is cooking. Salt and black pepper. So they take closer to three and a half minutes to brown on the one side, okay? All right, so now we're gonna turn it to the other side, but. Before we do that, we're supposed to like drain this oil out, but I can see already I put too much oil. So I'm just gonna pull it off of the fire, turn them over and then get a pot spoon and get this oil out and then put paper towel in here to continue getting the oil out. And then I'm gonna put half a stick of butter. All right, so now that it's sitting on this side, we're gonna salt and pepper the other side, the other end. And we're gonna let this butter cook until it's starting to get brown. And then at this point, we're gonna put in half a cup of chicken broth and I made this chicken broth myself. You can use the box stuff. And then when the oven is up to temperature, see, I had to like set it aside and let it wait because my oven is coming up to temperature slowly again. Hope it's not gonna go out on me again. And then stick it in here. Notice that I'm using a cast iron skillet for all of this, right? And it's supposed to go for 25 minutes at 425. But after I checked it at 25 minutes, this big one's not done. You have, you have to stick a knife in it to see if it goes in easily. So I'm just gonna leave the rest in there with it and have it go for another 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes later, voila, it's done. The knife went in easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and plate these and then set them aside to cool because I don't wanna burn my mouth. And then now we're gonna taste. It got super hot in here while cooking these and that's because the oven was set to 425. It was supposed to go for 25 minutes according to Chef John's video, but mine needed to go for 40 minutes and I think it's because of this one right here. This one's too tall and I kind of looked at it, you know, when I was setting it up because these ones are smaller, right? So let's dive in. This one's cooked all the way through though. You saw the knife go in. Let's dive in. Oh, you hear that? I like that outside. I think that's why I like um, hash browns because I like the outside to be crunchy. Let's get in here. Break. I'm breaking the seal. I let it cool down a little bit. <laughs> I 
I already knew that I was gonna love these, even though I never tasted them before. What could go wrong? Potato, salt, pepper, butter. The top and the bottom crunchy. The butter, the butter caramelized in the oven when it was cooking, and you see that one. That was like half a stick. A half a stick of butter was enough. Mm. You think it would be wrong if I ate this with some ketchup? <laughs> it's like fries, right? No, I'm not gonna do ketchup. The sugar that's in ketchup. Ooh, that stuff ain't good for you. Anyways, I love this. I would say like one piece is a serving. Don't get greedy. Eat it with some protein and some vegetables and you're set to go. So tell me if you guys make this. I told you I got this from Chef John's page. I tried something from him before and it didn't come out so good. But this one was a winner. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to look below for that link so you guys can get that discount on your phone mount. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Au revoir. Remember, guys, we are not buying this book. Pick up a copy of this book instead. Beans and Rice Volume 2 is the only Belizean cookbook backed by The Bear Pantry Show. Take a look at all these wonderful recipes you'll find inside the pages. Not interested in Belizean dishes? Then the pantry laid bear with these better than restaurant quality comfort foods might be the perfect book for you. Only need a small batch or a meal for two? Then pick up a copy of No More Leftovers. Each book has many choices of delicious dishes from basic ingredients. Yes, it cooked. Joe, Joe, Joe doubted that it was going to cook.